Hey guys, Zach with Joggers Trains. So in today's video, it's gonna be a quick little deal. We're gonna take a look at the brand new Lionel Vigiline Caboose. I've had some of you guys ask me about it, but before we do that, I gotta plug my own Discord server because I'm that guy, right? So I do have a Discord. Um, there's a link in the description below. If you are already a member of Discord, feel free to click the link and join the server. Come hang out with the boys. If you're not a member of Discord, feel free to click the link and sign up for Discord. It is free and then come hang out with the boys. <laughs> um, so if you don't know what Discord is, like I've said before, it's just a community server. Mine just happens to be for trains. We do talk some sports and cars and other stuff in there, but it's mainly train, train based. Um, got like approaching 100 people in there now. I think it's like 80 or 90 people, whatever it is. And it's just a good time, right? You can post pictures, videos. We got buy and sell. We got voice chat. You can come talk to the guys, and it's a good time. So um, if you're looking for a train community to hang out with, just talk to train people because you may live in Florida like me and not have that many train friends. Feel free to join my Discord and come hang out now. About this caboose, um, so this is the Lionel Vision Line CA1 caboose. This was offered in 2023 Volume 1 or 2023 Big Book, whatever you want to call it. It was listed with the uh, Vision Line Big Boy rerun. One thing I'll say about this caboose, yes, it is an XMTH tooling, because I have the same MTH caboose. <laughs> um, yes, it is expensive. I think it's retails for 250. I think I probably paid two something for it. I don't know. It's expensive. Um, yes, it's pretty cool. So. I'll flip it around here in a minute. I'm just gonna give you a quick little opinion about the caboose. I think the caboose is great. I do think it is overpriced. Um, and the I saw a video, I saw a video about this. So if you look at the, let's see if I can get this ring to see it. If you look at the power rollers here, right there, see how they're got that little little tab in there. It's a chintzy ass little metal tab. And I, I, the guy's video, it's a uh, Arts Model Trains, I believe is who it was. He was talking about it. I didn't even notice it before he said it in his video. So he's, he was saying that that little tab will, will push up and it will allow the, the trucks to short out on the track. I haven't had that experience with it. I also don't, haven't ran it very much. Anyways, the caboose, I'll show it to you here. I'll put the lights on here in a minute and get a little better look at it. Uh, but the caboose, I think it's fairly, fairly well detailed for a caboose. Is it the most detailed caboose you can buy? Probably not. Um, you know, I know some of people say about a brass caboose, but you know, brass cabooses don't talk. So brass caboose on caboose whistle. So I don't care about all that brass nonsense. Um, the caboose is one of my favorite parts about the caboose is the, the lanterns on the back. I think, I think they just look pretty good. Right. They look pretty solid and, um, it seems to run pretty good. So they're, you know, track pretty well when you run it. It doesn't seem to want to derail, which is to be expected since it is a, it is a, a quality caboose minus it's a quality caboose minus having all the electronics in it. Right. So I'll get the camera turned around here. We can take a better look at it. And then uh, I'll run it through its sounds, just sitting still. It does have sounds when you move it, like a typical, you know, rolling stock sound car. So, but we'll go ahead and go through the crew dialogue and the, and the caboose whistle and things like that. So, all right, so we'll flip the camera around, take a look at the caboose, and then uh, maybe we might even run it around behind. All right, guys, uh, if you made it this far, just hang out. We'll check out the caboose. If you're going to get, if you're tired of watching me now, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. Tell me how, how, how much you don't like me. Tell me when you want to shut up, whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, Check out the caboose. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So, you know, naturally with this being a uh, command caboose, you have to program it into your legacy remote. Obviously, you can program any number you want. I typically use the last two digits of whatever I'm running if I can to pro program them into my remote. It just makes them easier to figure out when you're trying to... When you have... When you start to get a, a decent-sized collection, if you just program into random numbers, it gets hard to remember. But so I just use 51 to program this. So we'll go ahead and start it up here. So, as you can see there, when you turn it on, the, the uh, interior lights come on and the marker lights came on. Now, with these bright lights, it's probably not the easiest to see right now. So, turn the lights off a little bit here. So, there you can see all the lights glowing. Um, like I say, I like the marker lights on this. I think, I just think they look pretty, pretty decent. Are they perfectly scale? Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know about the details of things like that, but... Uh, so, like I said, this caboose does have the uh, the clickety clack noises and stuff in it, and you can turn them off if you don't want to hear the clickety clacks and the wheel squeals. Um, so, we're going to run through some of the catalog, or the catalog, some of the dialogue here. Looks like we got Tom hogging today. You know what that means? Yep, we'll be done in record time and hitting the aspirin hard tonight. All our papers are in order. Yard boss says we're good down on the east end. Let's get rolling while I call for signals. How do the bills look? A mess. I hope whoever blocked this train did a better job sorting than that blasted yard clerk. 
Did you get the orders from the office? Got them. The usual speed restrictions up on the hill. They got a tie gang just out east of Springfield. And we got an extra pickup today there, too. We might be on the law this trip. Looks like we got Tom hogging today. You know what that means. Yep, we'll be done in record time and hitting the aspirin hard tonight. Alright, so that's it. I ran through all the crew dialogue there. Um, that's the whistle on it. Pretty cool sound, a little caboose whistle. I do think that's probably my favorite feature on this caboose, to be honest with you. Um, just because I've heard caboose whistles before. And obviously this is the first caboose that, that I've seen that has them. Um, so I'll go ahead and hook this up to an engine here. The engine, or this caboose does not smoke that I'm aware of. Um, pretty, pretty sure it does not have a smoke unit in it, which I, I feel like, I feel like that's okay. Cause I don't know about you guys, but like when I run smoking cabooses, I typically don't pay attention to, um, you know, when they're out of smoke and then, you know, you know, burn up your wicking in the smoke unit. And it typically, if, if you have a bigger layout, you know, you got a smoking boost and you, it's, it gets so far away from you, it sits for so long, then all the smoke fluid burns off that way too. So it's, it just turns into be, turns out to be more a pain in the ass than anything, I guess. But um, overall, my thoughts on this caboose are it's pretty solid. I do like it. Do I think it's worth the money? Maybe not necessarily worth the money, but um, I don't know. If you want to talk in caboose, I guess it's worth the money to, if you want to pay for it, but uh they did this caboose in, in this color, and they also did it in the typical UP yellow with the red roof. I just, I think I just tend to like this color caboose a little more than the yellow UPs. Maybe it's because I have so many of the yellow UPs. Um, I just wanted this one, but I do have this exact color caboose in MTH, and I should have dug it out for this video so you can kind of compare and see that it, it is in fact the same caboose. But uh, all right, guys, so I'll hook it up to uh, hook it up to an engine, some engine. I don't know. We got probably a BNO engine just just to make the internet happy, but. Uh, Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's just a quick little deal. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the caboose. Until next time, see ya. Good night.